I want to say to you, my man, as your reverend, I want you to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Victory is in sight. It may be so high you can't get over it. It's so wide you can't go around it. It's so deep you can't go under it. You got to go in the gate. I'm going to tell you, in conclusion, he who sits on the red hot stove shall surely rise. Thank you for taking the time to support, to listen, to enjoy this journey we have with this podcast. I appreciate the love from everybody. I'm going to keep pushing. This thing is going to keep going. We need this out there in the community, and these young brothers and sisters truly need this as well. We're going to go into our poems of struggle. This comes from the sister Maya Angelou. This goes like this. I love to see a young girl go out and grab the world by the lapels. Life's a bitch. You gotta go out and kick ass. Basically what the sister is saying, she wants to see young girls do the best they can to go out there and get as much as they can out of life. It's already difficult for us right now trying to sustain ourselves in the climate that we live in at the time and since we've been in this particular country. We must stick together and most definitely help our young sisters out as well. My Angela, thank you so much for that quote and rest in peace, sister. Next thing we're going into is please support these black ventures. Please support the film Too Honorable by the brother Dame Dash and Kanye West. Unbelievable film. Everybody needs to tune in, take a look at this. This is not really for the kids. This is more for the adults. Please download, stream, wherever you can to get this film. I believe it is available on Vimeo. Please check that out. Too Honorable. Uh, books we are currently supporting as Letters to a Young Brother by the Brother Hill Harper. Please purchase that book. Very insightful book. Very good read for a lot of young black males. I'm saying from the ages is about 8 to about 15 will benefit from reading this particular book by this Brother Hill Harper. Please support that. Uh, as far as we're going with clothing, please support the New Bronx City clothing hats shirts these brothers are really trying to get this thing pushing out there in the bronx and i support these brothers and we should support them throughout any ventures that they are particularly doing please go on to instagram and just type in new bronx city and these brothers will pop up with all of their different things that they're doing hats radio shows everything please support support as much as possible because we can only do as far as we can do for ourselves we need to stay together Without any less, I'm going to go straight into my guest. This little brother's been doing it for a while, but when I popped onto this video after being linked up with some of the OGs that put me on to this brother, I was amazed. The amazing things that this young man is doing, and I just want to get on that wave with this brother because he's headed somewhere very high, and we need people like this. Holy mo, thank you for taking your time being on the show, brother. No problem, no problem. Thank you for having me. I appreciate, appreciate it. Not a problem, brother. So basically, just for my my, my audience, can you give them a, a simple background, a simple history going back with that, Mo, as far as just being in Staten Island, things of that nature, brother? All right, no problem. Well, um, my name is Holy Mo. Uh, I got the name actually to play basketball. You know, uh, that's where I kind of got, like, my fame out here. A lot of people knew me for that. I ventured into the music. Um... As far as what I do, I make music. You know, I try to give back to my community. You know what I'm saying? I do cookouts every year. I host a basketball tournament that's been running for the last eight summers. Um, that's pretty big, like one of the biggest basketball tournaments out there. Um, it's really catered to the little kids. Um, I do, like, mentorship for the young ones coming up. You know, I, I, I don't want to see them fall in the You know, a lot of times young kids need need somebody such as myself maybe just to talk to. Um, so that's basically what I do. Um, I make music. 
you know, a lot of people has been uh, tuning into my music lately. And my music basically talks about, you know, never letting up, never falling victim, uh, always strive, prosper, never be content. You know, there's always a next level. There's always, there's always a way to level up and get to the next level and just keep pushing. Keep pushing this positivity, keep pushing this everything, doing what you want to do, chasing your dreams. That's what I'm all about. Absolutely. That's beautiful, brother. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what we need from the youth. And I appreciate you doing it just as a young brother doing it right now. Because that's just, that's an applause within itself. Because most of you know, most of the dudes are just sitting back rather than just being a leader. They rather than just being the crowds. And when I saw your music and when I saw the breakdown of what you was putting down, it wasn't the same aspect of what I'm hearing from a lot of these other young brothers. We got to start understanding mm -hmm. we don't have those things. We, we're not financially stable enough to get ourselves to front like we got something we don't and when i watch that video that i think it's a nearly a three thousand hits on there i'm proud of you for that brother when i saw that because um basically the video gives you a whole breakdown of the brother's struggle from top to bottom audience please check out the video mm -hmm. holy mo amelie but go ahead mo please all right yeah yeah i just i just recently released a video called the Millie. Uh, i'm gonna check it out basically you know from where I'm at to kind of where I'm going and where I want to be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it starts off in the project, you know, it finishes off in a, in a condo, mm. you know what I'm saying? As far as me, as far as sounding like everybody else, I'm not, you know, I believe in indiv being an individual, being myself, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing for me to talk about a million girls and a million cars and all the money that I don't really have, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like more people can relate to my story they relate to that million dollar story that's, uh, that's very hard to attain and they don't really tell you how to get there. So with through my music, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm talking about everyday life, everyday struggle. Um, people in the community, they still can see me. They still, kids that still call me, text me. You know what I'm saying? I'm very accessible. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what my music is about. And, and I sound like myself. I'm not following no terms. You know what I'm saying? Every, all the flows that you hear me kicking, the flows that I created, you know what I mean? I'm not into trying to sound like the, the future or, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to start this wave where being yourself is cool. You feel? So that's, 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 that's where I'm going with it. And Mo, I, and Mo, that's what we need because basically the same thing. I'm going to segue into what you just said, brother, because it seems like we have to gravitate toward more of a southern Atlanta sound for us to be beneficial. But that's the problem is as you, as you start to get away from being yourself, you start to lose yourself in that. So you never really remember what you actually were. So if we start to lose lyrics, if we start to lose lyricism, us just being MCs and things of that nature and actually making music. Music. Uh -huh. If we start to lose that, we're not going to go no further because it seems like the music has just been dumbed down, in my opinion. What do you think about that, brother? Oh, I agree with you as far as the music being dumbed down and people losing their sound. I always, tell, I always tell people, like, if I was to make it or when I do make it, I'm going to make it for being myself. So, therefore, I don't have to act like anything. I don't have to portray any sort of image. Like, if you look at my video that I just dropped, I don't have no chains on, no, none of that. Not saying I don't have these things, but there's like a certain image that I'm pushing, like you feel me, as far as that video particularly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, that's all I think. So if I were to make it, you know, I want to be myself. A lot of people, once you fake it, people say fake it till you make it, but then you're always going to be faking it. The only way to cover up a lie is with more lies. Wow. Once you, hit, once you hit them with the truth, you know what I'm saying? And I'm from New York. And I'm from New York, like, it's like, if, if, if New York were to start sounding like ATL, then it's, just, it's over. Like, uh, New York is known for ciphers and, and kicking bars and, and spitting and, you know what I mean? Only thing I feel like New York artists do like as far as kicking bars is making it into a song. Nas, Biggie, Jay-Z, they was able to kick bars and spit lyrical, but make good songs and make good music. You know what I mean? So that's where I think a lot of New York artists for sure. Like, it's easy to make a trap song or talk about this, that, and have a catchy hook. You know what I mean? It's a little harder when you're spitting lyrically and, and you got a nice hook and you got bars. And, you know what I mean? You're just putting all of that in one. And that's what I'm basically trying to put, 
you feel? Because people are going to like what I'm saying. They're going to like it. You know what I mean? Even if you want to hit, you're going to like it. You're going to like it because it's real. Everybody, and before, ain't too many people I know grew up with millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So right now we at that level where we can touch the people, we can reach the people, you can relate to Because I'm talking about the everyday struggles, and I'm still going through it. It's not like I'm reminiscing right now. No, I'm talking about what I'm actually doing at the moment. And that's the basis of what we need. Because what you're saying, brother, most of the kids need that because you giving them reality rap. You bringing it back right. to the gutter of when I grew up. Like, I was that young kid, 15, 16, listening to the locks, listening to these dudes and those dudes. We never, they never talked about chains. They never talked about what they had. It was more predicated on violence, yes. But at the end of the day, it also gave you a sense of manhood to try to change your life as well. So even though the message might be a little slick talk as far as with the violence and the things of that nature, it was always predicated and putting you in the in the right zone for you to actually do something with your, with your life. Like, oh, Right. Maybe you want to be right, Islamic. Right. Maybe you want to do this. Maybe you want to do that. Because it's always beneficial to have some kind of ev uh, evolving something. But it seems like, little brother, out there in the borough that you're in currently, you really, it's going to be difficult for you to come out of it because it's so hard for you to be recognized in New York City. But can you speak about that more? It is hard to, be, to come out of this borough. It's going to be extremely hard. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, like, I push my stand out and bring it. But I'm an artist from New York, like so I'm a New York artist. I just I reside in Staten Island, and I love my brother. You know what I'm saying? As far as out here, I'll be, everything I could do out here, I do. Everybody in the neighborhood know my words. Everybody in every all the neighborhood, they know my music. They familiar. Like like I said, I was popular before I started rapping. You know what I'm saying? So so it's easy for me to talk to the kids. You know, because they they've been looking up to me when I was 16, 17. I've been putting teams in in tournaments. I, I was coaching when I was 15, coaching 14 year olds and coaching 18 year olds. Like so, everybody been looking up to me. But as far as making it out of there, um, you know, I just feel like it's just one of them things where I just got to get my network up and meet certain the right people because all it takes is the right ear to hear it, and, and, and I'm sure it could take off. Like I always say, I'm probably one or two people away from the right person. So I may talk to you, and you might know the right person. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking to you right now, you might refer somebody to me and they might be like, oh, wow, I can't believe I've never seen these you. And I really believe that's going to happen. Like, so I'm going to just keep pushing the brand that I'm pushing. And, and that's always, it is hard and people don't really make it out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, where where Khalifa from? I ain't never know about Pittsburgh. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So you can't tell me this side of town is more popular than my side of town. We right across the water. You feel me? Or other rappers, like not just a single out with, but you know, I'm Staten Island's a borough, but we still in the city, like you feel me? So I'm just like one or two right people away from from, from connecting these dots that I'm trying to connect, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's basically what it is, and I just got to keep pushing, keep believing. Exactly. You know what I mean? I always tell people when you believe in, when you believe in something so much, everybody around you is going to believe in it as well, and I believe in it, you know? You right, and I honestly, little brother, I believe in you, and I know it's going to happen, and it's going to be the right situation, and you're going to be put in the right spot. I'm not going to say I'm going to be that guy that's oh, I interview Holy Mo, he should give give it up for me, and man, that dude owe me some. I'm not even going in that direction, and we shouldn't even go in that direction. And I say that with many guests, and I say that that this is pretty much organic. This is for us. We need to start supporting us regardless of anything. I'll be more happy right. to see my little brother on the Soul Train Awards getting awards than him giving me $100 for an interview. I don't need none of that right. stuff. I need to actually feel like I did something because I took so much away way as a youth and just being ignorant for so many years that I got to pay it forward and we got to do it in our different aspects that we're doing it in. You're doing it musically, I'm doing it vocally. Like basically this is how we're doing it because we have to help each other and this is going to be beneficial to everybody because I think with you making it, brother, is going to give these people some kind of a out. They had the Wu-Tang, but in my opinion, Wu-Tang, it was more of so many different guys in so many different areas that they was able to say, okay, I have Ghostface in Park Hill. I have this person here. Or I got that person here. Or ODB's in Brooklyn. So you really didn't have that one person that everybody could just gravitate toward. But with you, little brother, you pushing that wave. 
They can jump on your shoulders and you can show them the right way because they need that. And even when you meet up with these folks, I'm be I always this was the show is about mo. This is shows about keeping it a hundred, my brother. When you start seeing the faces, you gonna understand that the hyenas is worse. The wolves is worse behind with them suits than they are in them streets, my brother. And I want you to yeah. understand that you always gonna have a person in your corner right here. I'm always gonna be with you regardless. And no matter what you experience, you can always call me and talk to me as a big brother because I could give you that insight. And if anything, I could put you on to whoever you need to speak to that's gonna benefit you as well, brother. But we also have to understand that just because these individuals have the checks and have the large buildings and have the fancy clothes and things like that, and even though they might be the right complexion for the protection, and you know what I'm talking about, white dudes, Jewish dudes, any dudes, if they got the bread, doesn't mean that they're the right situation. So always read, always understand, surround yourself with the right people, and keep your circle small, brother. Please keep your circle as small as possible, and only keep the individuals around you that you can truly trust that was there when you had nothing, Mo. Because most of these individuals, you just want to do that. It's like the MC Hammer thing. You want to put the block on, and now that brother's struggling. Because he put the block on. But he really helped out the block. It's hard, but you got to do it, Mo. But go ahead on that, brother. No, yeah, no doubt. Now, I'm, I'm very... Uh, I, I've, I've learned some of the business. I can't say I know it all because I haven't been through it. But I'm very... Like I said, my, like I was brought up with a whole lot of morals. I was brought up in a good home and all that. So I don't think I could easily be manipulated. I got a good head on my shoulders. I'm focused. I know what's at hand. I know what's at stake as well. So, you know what I mean? I appreciate you giving me the platform. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is all about, sticking together, knowing what you're doing, because I'm sure when some offers start coming, you know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of a lot of paperwork, a lot of people trying to deceive me, a lot of people that got a third But Like I say, I'm ready for that. You know what I'm saying? I, I always hear people say, uh, more money, more problems. Like, those are the type of problems that I'm I'm looking forward to. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to dealing with those type of things, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause like I always, like I, like I say, people, some people say, you don't want that fame, you don't want that fame. Like, my mom ain't going to be famous, but she's going to be straight, you know what I'm saying? My cousins ain't going to be famous, they're going to be straight. So somebody got to go through it to, to get us over the hump and, and, and put us in the position that we want to do. And I'm just out here fighting and trying to, trying to make it happen. And you're going to do it. You're going to do it, brother, because basically with the, with the insight that you have and your, your youth is going to be your major, major treasure because to have the mindset that you have now, little brother, with the music and the, and the everything that you're putting down, the videos and all these things of that nature, to be so young and doing it, you're just going to get better. So don't allow any of this outside things to try to come in and destroy that and destroy you mentally because there's going to be a lot of outside factors that's going to come around you to try to destroy you like anything, brother. And you've seen that even in the hood. It could be the dude that's the hood star and everybody prop him up. But when the dude get either shot or hurt or he locked up, he come back out, everything different. Things move fast. The world moves fast. And we know the streets move fast. That's why the youth is always the ones that's leading it because they're the ones that's the next ones up 16 17 by the time you 25 you a old head that's how the shit goes so we know so it's like basically that's why i'm continuous to have younger dudes on here to give me insight to give me some understanding because most of my guests on here are older men that's already established already processed through things already had their celebrities and things of that nature but i need to also get the pulse of the youth and that's what my wife was saying. You need to start getting the pulse of the young boys so you understand, so they know what's going on. Because I, at the end of the day, they're going to be sitting where you're sitting. You might be in a comfortable space now, and I'm damn sure not comfortable because I want much more like you want much more, brother. But we have to come to understand, like, I experience shit, and I could put that experience to Mo. Mo could take that experience and push it to the next young brother. That young brother could then push that at my brother. One, each one teach one and that's all we gotta do but you gonna make it Mo and when you do make it brother please do as much as you have been doing continue to do it but please go into your, your basketball career like how did that whole thing play out was that totally different from the music or how did that work uh, as far as my basketball career uh, I played out here in Staten Island uh, I'm probably like top five all time leading scorer on the borough um, then I went to a JUCO upstate. After the JUCO, I, I got the scholarship to uh, uh, the number one Division two school at that time, Fort Hayes State University. 
I played over there, all American status. I went overseas. I did the overseas thing for about three years. Uh, kind of got injured. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm back, back in the States. So I was playing professionally. I was, you know what I'm saying, playing at, at the highest level of my career. You know, um, but now, now, and that just transitions into the music. My tape is called Holy Matrimony. Holy Matrimony meaning I'm now married and devoted to the music. You know, I kind of hung up my ball kicks. You feel so now I'm strictly on the music. Before I was kind of juggling them both, but now I'm just strictly focused on the music and focusing on, uh, you know, the things that I'm doing right now, Holy Matrimony. There you go. Exactly, brother. Because you got to look at those certain things. You experience that, and even with heartbreak, you can use that to then benefit you with your music because that's what you really need to do. And I hear that in Definitely. the music. Like, I actually sat down because basically I don't just want people on here. I want to actually learn the person. So when I sat down, I listened to most of your music, and I listened to, to a lot of the things you were saying and a lot of the words, brother. It resonates. It really does resonate, and it gets in my mind. So it's like you need that. You need that kind of thing. That give you those goosebumps like this brother can do it he can make it he can't get to that other side and don't believe please brother don't believe that you gotta wait for somebody to give you a check too you go find your check brother because it's out there you can get it right. because at the end of the day these young boys is doing it joey badass is doing it travis scott is doing it these young boys ain't signing no papers before Wiz was right. getting the paper signed, brother, he was out there running around, him and Henry Currency getting checks. I'm all the way up in, him, in Vermont, brother, and they was getting checks uh -huh. out here. So they was coming up here getting their check money. They was going state to state getting their check money. So please don't believe, like, all right, just on the circle or the circumstances that I'm in, I might have to wait for somebody to get my voice out there because you pretty much been doing it, Mo. And you've seen it with your basketball career, how much that one basketball took you so far. It's the same thing with your music, brother. So you can build that and become a great businessman on your own. So when that check does come, they're going to be even larger amounts because now you have way more knowledge than you just making music, brother. Definitely, definitely. But you most definitely is is. So what do you see beyond this? Like with your music and everything going forward, is there is there um, many more things in the works? Many more ventures? What are you thinking about, Mo? What's happening? Well, right now. Right now, as far as uh, as far as the music goes, as far as business goes, um, you know, I, I got I got booked for a couple shows. You know, I'm flying out to Minnesota on the 21st. I'm flying out to Minnesota 21st. I got booked to do a show in Paris. I'm leaving to go to Paris September 8th or September 10th show. Um, I'm just focusing on perfecting my craft. This is my first solo project. Um, the numbers is doing really well. It's a, I feel blessed to uh, have my music paying for me, you know what I'm saying, paying me, uh, keeping me afloat, you know what I'm saying. I still I still do my thing, I still, you know, work and all that, you feel me, but it feels good to have the music uh, paying for certain things, studio time, trips, or whatever the case is, so, you know what I'm saying. So right now I'm just focusing on perfecting my cast, building my brand, getting the word out there, you know what I'm saying. I don't think too many people like that would have opened up and listen to my stuff. It's not going to like it, you know. So it's just about capturing them and, and keeping that thing and keeping the feeding them and keep paying people with visuals. Um, from Millie's out, that's my first visual. You can look for my next visual. It's going to be even more crazier than a Millie. I'm shooting to live for me. If you listen to the project, you know live for me is definitely one of them joints, one of them New York joints, like you feel me. And, and people always, and like some people like to say, you can't make it making this type of music, but Trust me, there's a lot of fans out there that listen to this type of stuff. I may not be the radio single guy, you feel me, but Joey Av is a radio single guy. I don't think he's doing the type of numbers that Joey Badass is doing, and he don't got no songs on the radio. Absolutely. You feel me? That's not, that's not a take from Joey. I love his music as well. I'm just saying everybody got their lane. Everybody got their own, their own style, their own thing that they could do. You know, you got to be true to yourself, and the fans to feed off that. You feel me? The fans are going to feed off that. So basically, that's what I'm on right now, you know. I'm on. That's what I'm on. I'm really focused right now. I'm in my bag right now. I'm just trying to get to it. Absolutely. And, brother, I'm just throwing it out there to you now. 
I'm in the future. This is going to be coming in the future. I'm trying to work on a project currently, and I would love for you to act in that project if that's possible. And you should most definitely do it because you have the, the looks for an um, unbelievable actor. So you should also work on that too as well, Mo, because you would be very beneficial, brother. Definitely, definitely. I, listen, anything, but anything on camera. Uh, like, like I said, when I was in school, like I'm, I'm into all that media stuff. I'm into video editing. I'm into all that stuff, like all the production work, all that type of stuff. So anything behind the camera, in front of the camera, I'm definitely into it. I definitely did a, a, a independent project. You know, what I'm saying independent film. That's, that's, I think it's called a love, a match made in Harlem. You know, so I'm in an independent film. That didn't come out yet, so I ain't really been promoting it until they put the trailer out. So I definitely do things like that. People definitely hit me up because they know, like, if you know me, you know my personality. You know I'm never going to shy away from the camera. I'm never going to shy away from any type of pressure, any type of anything. You know what I'm saying? What you see, what you get, and I'm always doing the work. Practice. Exactly. And that's what you need because you've been doing it. You've been putting forward so much work at such a young age. That's why I said your yeah, your age is a treasure right now, Mo, because you at the end of the day, I'm not saying it's a contest, but you can say like, yo, comparative to a lot of grown men that's really sitting back and just what if you're winning, brother, because you're doing. You're not saying what if. You're not waiting for nobody because nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to say, okay, Mo, give me your hand. Let me show you what to do. Or putting their arm around your shoulders. Let me show you what to do, young boy. They ain't doing that. So you don't have that anymore. That don't exist. So I applaud you so much. That don't really, like, like right now, if I could show you my team, I got a bunch of, a bunch of teenagers, 14, 15, Asking me, like, they looking at me like, yo, listen, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And they know I'm accessible. I, don't, I never really had none of that. I got, I got a group of friends, like, like the person that produced my, my project, uh, Mickey Scott. And that, that was my roommate when I was in school. You feel me? He started making beats just because he knew I had the talent to rap. You know what I'm saying? So he found his lane. I got my boy Kwan's. I got Capo. You know, they got their lane management and, and finding these shows and finding these ventures. And things like that. So everybody around me is working. I don't really like to see too many people. Like if I'm in the studio, if you don't really got no business there, you know what I'm saying? It's not a time to hang out. Like that. I'm, I'm so focused right now. It's not really, you know what I mean? Like you got to be doing something. You know what I'm saying? Some, some got to be going on. We got to maybe it's a look. Maybe, maybe when I'm doing something, I may need 20 people behind me. You know, but that's not really like always the move to be making. Like you feel. So when I'm making these. Business moves. I need people around me that's business minded, business oriented. You feel me? So I'm focused. So I ain't never had no old head telling me, "Yo, listen, just I see what you're doing." Boom, boom, boom. And I had the pleasure to meet one of my idols, uh, Method Man. I did the Method Man tribute. I had the pleasure to meet him. You know what I'm saying? But, but that being said, ain't nobody never show me no ropes. Ain't nobody never come down and say, "Yo, I see what you're doing. Let me help you. Let me better it up." And I'm alright with that. I'm cool with that. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I, I, we're going to take the long way. Like, it, 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 ain't, it ain't no problem with that to get to the top. We're going to mount climb. We're going to rock climb. We're going to get to the top. We're going to take the steps. You feel me? Like, we're going to get to it no matter what. And that's the mindset that we've got. And anybody around me, they don't have that mindset. You feel me? So we're going to get to it. We ain't tripping. We ain't worried about nothing. Like, you feel me? The only thing we worry about is just staying focused. I know. But, Mo, please, like, I want you, as you get older, brother, and as you become more successful in your field, and you do finish your career and you able to put your feet up, don't think about how them old heads treated you now so what you nah, need to be doing for the young boys definitely. then. I would, I, would never, I would never do that. Like I said, young boys younger than me hit me up now because they see what I'm doing and they want to turn. And I'm never going to hold the plug out. Like, if it's something that could benefit me and it could also benefit you, there you go. A lot of people like to ask me, how did you get on Sway? How did you meet Sway? And they're kind of turning. And I tell them, like, listen, if you got the talent, you're going to get there. I tell them the avenues to do. I tell them the showcases to do. Certain things that don't make sense that I don't I don't feel make sense. But not to do things like that. I'm never going to take what the old heads did to me and do it to the next generation. Like, that's not my, that's not my MO. Like I said, I, I started the tournament when I was really young. Like, you feel me? I was still a teenager, and I had the biggest tournament in Staten Island. You feel me? So it's just like... I'm always looking to give back, always looking to help out who I need to help out. Anybody that's serious, we're going to get through it. That's a fact. Brother, 
in conclusion this was an unbelievable interview i appreciate you so much and every single thing you're doing is there anything you want to plug anything you want to put people on please this is your platform go ahead mo all right uh well listen you can follow me my name is holy mo holy matrimony is out is on itunes spotify title google play anywhere to find music you can find holy matrimony um on social media i am the holy one E A H O L Y uh number one. Uh the number one I mean, um just look me up, you already know hashtag holy mo. I'm sure you'll find some, you know, and if not for for my team in my inbox, we can always get you know, up, we can always do we can always get to it, man. Holy mo, holy mo, holy mo, remember the name, man. Holy matrimony's out now. That's with me. There you go. Thank you so much, Mo. You have a good night, my brother. I like you too. Stay up, stay black.